Yo, yo, slap on your gloves, grab your tools of choice. Hey, meet me in the kitchen, y'all. Hey, I want to welcome you back to my channel. I am your man, keep a cup. Hey, you can cook. I know you read that title because I just gave you an opportunity to. Hey, we're going to do a stew chicken, y'all. Now, some people may say it's a smothered chicken, but I really got introduced to this when I was living in South Carolina. Now, I'm pretty sure we had this growing up, but I Hey, I don't remember, but I'm pretty sure we did. We probably called it something different. But down in South Carolina, I really started paying attention to it because they say stewed, they stew a lot of things. So I really, it really opened up my eyes to what, what, what was really going on with this meal. But hey, let's go over the co-stars of this show. We got about a cup and a half of all-purpose flour quarter cup of green bell peppers, quarter cup of yellow onion, quarter cup of red bell peppers, quarter cup of celery, about two tablespoons of yellow bell pepper. What do that say to you right there? We got that holy trinity going on, y'all, right there. That's that holy trinity. So, since we got the Holy Trinity, I had to bring in these Cajun andouille sausage. Hey, I cut them up to like a quarter inch round circles. Hey, I'm telling you, the flavor that comes off of that andouille sausage, hey, you'll see in a minute. Hey, I got um four tablespoons of unsalted butter right here, y'all. I got some chicken bouillon flavor. I'm gonna go ahead and dump it into, into my flour mixture right now. Then I got two tablespoons of Cajun seasoning, y'all. I'm dumping in. Hey, I got a bouquet, y'all. Check it out. A bouquet of parsley, rosemary, thyme, Two bay leaves, got it all tied up with kitchen twine. Hey, instead of fishing this stuff out of your, your meal, go ahead and tie it up. That way, it's easier to get it out. You know how it is, y'all. Sometimes you put them bay leaves in your stuff. You don't want to serve it to them, but you done lost it. Hey, pro tip right there, y'all. All right, we got some chicken broth right here, y'all. We got that extra virgin olive oil. And then we got some AP seasoning, y'all. All right, let's get on to the start of the show. We got these chicken thighs right here, y'all. Take a look at them. Oh, and they've been washed, patted dry, trimmed. Now, take a look at them to see how trimmed they are. Now we cut off all that little excess, clean them up, got them ready for showtime, y'all. Okay, what we gonna do first is go ahead and lather them up. Actually, yeah, let's go ahead and lather them up with a little bit of olive oil. Just a light bit of light coat of olive oil. going. Rub the bottom, rounding that excess olive oil on the bottom. Alright, we're going to set that to the side. Alright, let's bring our skillet into play. 
I'm gonna put some fire under it. We're going with a medium high today. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna sear off our andouille sausage, y'all. Two tablespoons of butter. This gives you a little time. Hey, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for me, y'all. That's right. Hit that thumbs up over there. All right, we're going in with these andouille sausage, y'all. ahead and get them moved around in that butter. Lay them flat. Looks like my heat ain't up too far, but just tap it up a little bit more. Add a little bit of black pepper to the flour mixture. While that's coming up to temp, we're gonna go ahead and get this mixed up, y'all. Get it ready to coat our chicken. Now, you chicken thigh, that bone in, skin on. For all y'all that may want to know, bone in, skin on. That's my favorite cut of chicken right there. I love the dark meat. But the thigh, hey, I love it. Flavorful. Juicy. Can't go wrong with it to me, y'all. Now I can finally hear it coming up the temp. Just let them go on here and soak in that butter. Just releasing its juices, its browning. That's what we want, y'all. While that's doing that, we're gonna go on here and hit this chicken up with some AP seasoning. Now once you hit it up with that AP seasoning, don't rub it, just pat it. Don't rub it, just pat it. Go ahead and flip it over. Show the other side that same kind of love and the attention it deserves. Hey, we talking about five here, y'all. My kind of chicken right here. Only need, need a light coating, y'all. We ain't gonna kill it. We ain't gonna overdo it. Just need a light coating. Cause it's gonna be flavors 
on top of flavors in here. So you don't want to overpower it. that brown that is, is developing. The spices that's coming off of it is, is phenomenal, y'all. Just that Cajun and Dewey sausage, y'all. That's what you want, y'all. Color. Color is flavor, y'all. All right, I am your man. Keep a cup and cook. Uh, we got our flour mixture. We just gonna introduce, we just gonna lightly coat it, y'all. We ain't gonna dredge it all in there, just gonna lightly dust it. Go ahead and get it on there, pat it on. Flip it over. We'll do the same thing. This time, our sausage is ready to come on out of here. We want to leave behind all that butter and all them juices, y'all. So either use your tongue, like I'm using, or get you a, a slotted spoon. That's what you want. You want to develop that color. Color equals flavor, y'all. Okay. I'm looking at how much oil I got in here. I'm going to add just a little bit more. What that's going to do is bring the tip down a little bit. But then it's going to come back up, y'all. Gonna bring it back up slowly. Nothing gets burned here, y'all. What that olive oil is gonna do, it's gonna protect this butter from burning. I know me. Butter makes everything better. All right, y'all. We make it. We doing that stewed chicken today, y'all. Stewed chicken. Check my heat.
Take a little sip. We're going in with the chicken, y'all. Skin side down. Down. Not that you have to, but that's what I like to do. Skin side down, that's my presentation side. So that's why I like to do that. top of each other, allowing that heat to come up here and sear them. With that said, hey, when I'm ready to flip these over, I'll be back. I'm going to clean up my workstation just a little bit. Hey, I am your man, Keep a Cup Can Cook. And if you're new, hit that subscribe button for me. Hey, and I'll be right back. All right, y'all. I am the man. Keep a cup, can cook, and I am back. And we're gonna turn this chicken over. What you wanna do? You wanna allow it to sear on one side. Then we're gonna flip that over, sear that second side. Now we're gonna cook this all the way through, y'all. We're not gonna stick it in the oven. We're gonna kick, cook it all the way through right here in the pan. Can you see the color I'm talking about developing? That's that color you want, y'all. space in between them that we end up with the fry method and not the steam method. Hey, if you're liking what you're seeing so far, hit me up with that thumbs up, y'all. Share this video. Let everybody you know and tell them to let everybody they know, man. There's another channel out here. Keep a cup and cook. Hey, keep doing it, y'all. He's demonstrating. Hey, and he's plating it up right before your very eyes. If your house ain't smelling amazing at this point, hey, come on, man. You're doing something wrong. Hey, I'm going to step off camera for a, a heartbeat. Hey, I got to refill a little bit, okay? To be honest with you, and I'll be back. All right, y'all, just like I promised. Came back. Hey, I'm on full. Hey, it's time to take this chicken. Let's take a look at the bottom. I'm liking what I see. Hey, we're going to take it out. We're going to pan this up, y'all. Go 
allow it to sit to the side and rest a bit. We'll be calling back for it in a little bit. Y'all know how it is. Stars get more rest than the co-stars. Check the temp. We're gonna bring it down some. Then we're gonna start with these onions. And the celery at the same time. Give them a head start, y'all. Juices, andouille sausage, chicken. Come on, y'all. Cajun seasonings in there. All that. Pepper. That's right, y'all. We're going to let it do its thing. I might have dropped it too low, but we're going to bring it back up. Huh? It's okay. We're just giving this a head start. We want it to soften. We want it to release its flavors, especially that celery, y'all. Hey, amazing flavor in that celery. Y'all don't slip on celery, y'all. Oh, we are talking about that holy trinity, y'all. Our green bell pepper, y'all. Red. Nothing left behind. We got that yellow going in. Come on, y'all. What is that saying to you right there? Hey, because you know we eat with our eyes first, y'all. What is that telling you right there? We on flavor on top of flavor, y'all. Oh my goodness. We gonna flatten that out. We gonna let it do do at this same time we're gonna go ahead and drop that kitchen bouquet in there y'all hey and let it release this this flavor as well we want the fragrance of all of that we're gonna put a little lid over it let it do what it do All those flavors is being released. Hey, I'm going to pause the camera. I'm going to step off. I'm going to bust a few suds. Hey, always keep you some hot soapy water on ready, y'all. Clean as you go. I'll be back. All right, y'all, once again, I am your man, Keep a Cup Can Cook. Hey, and I am back. Hey. taking the veil off and I am telling you y'all you got to try this the flavors that's busting through here is crazy I'm loving it y'all I'm loving it This has done its job. That bouquet of herbs has done its job. Hey, 
I have failed to tell y'all about garlic. I failed to tell y'all because I noticed I didn't do it. So when I was off camera, hey, clicked on me. Two tablespoons of fresh minced garlic, hey, going in. Can't have a holy trinity and then don't have the other supporting cast member for that, 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 that garlic. Now, if you got garlic paste, you can use garlic paste. You can use the garlic in the jar. But you know me. Fresh is best. Fresh is best. Now, when that began to bust through with its fragrance, like I'm smelling right now. the sausage back. Any juices that it accumulated going in, y'all. Don't be shy. We're getting it all in there, y'all. going in with this chicken broth. You probably end up, matter of fact, if you don't already know, one of these boxes contains four cups. We're going to use probably about three today. nothing right because we put a cold product it ain't cold but it's room temperature so we're gonna bump our heat up we're gonna bring this up to a boil we're gonna go ahead and bring this up to a boil but even before we do that Chicken thighs going back in, y'all. Get them nestled up in there. All those flavors. Juices it, it accumulated while I was resting. Get them in there, y'all. That's right. We ain't playing around in here, y'all. I am your man. Keep a cup can cook. Hey, we doing it, y'all. So, what we gonna do? We gonna go ahead and cover this. Remember, vent hole, always away from your body. We're going to bring this up to temp, let it begin to boil, and then we'll reduce it down to a simmer. Hey, stand by, y'all. I am your man, keep a cup, get cooked. We're going to have this probably simmering, probably about 20 minutes, y'all, and I'll be back. All right, y'all. I am your man once again, keep a cup, can cook. And as promised, I told you, 20 minutes, I'll be back. We allowed it to simmer on very low. Matter of fact, hey, let's just go ahead and take the veil off and see what's happening. Hey, I'm telling you, the color that it developed, hey, let me just show you. Now this comes from the flour that I put on it. Look at that sauce. Look how thick it is. Look at the consistency of it. 
That's what you want, y'all. Not too thick, and it's not too thin. But that's what you want. That comes from just putting a light coating of flour on your chicken before you sear it off. Hey, we ain't got to go through all that making a roux. We ain't got to do all that um, um, cornstarch slurry. But hey, if you do, hey, it's okay. That's where you at. But allow the heat to work for you. Allow your heat to work for you. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Hey, more importantly, I'm liking what I'm smelling. And hey, speaking of like, if you like the content that you're seeing today, hey, hit me up with that thumbs up, y'all. Hey, and share this video. Share it with everybody that you know. And let them know. There's another channel out here. We doing it. We 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 about to we demonstrate. Hey, check this out. We about to put it on a plate right before your very eyes. I am your man. Keep a cup can cook. Hey, we doing it, baby. Stew chicken at its best. Matter of fact, I'm going to call this low country stew chicken at its best. Only reason I'm saying low country is that's where I was at when I heard of stew chicken. So, hey, I'm giving you your props. Loving it, y'all. Let's cut this heat off. Hey, we're going to get ready for the plate in, y'all. Let's get this one last stir. Oh, man, I'm liking the consistency of this gravy, y'all. I ain't even calling it gravy, because, you know, we ain't create no roux or nothing. It's a nice sauce. Let me give you another peek at it. Wish I could smell what I'm smelling. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Let's do it, y'all. Did I say we, we plating it up right before your very eyes? Keep a cook, can cook style. Watch this, y'all. We're going to go ahead and push this up there a little bit. Bring our plate more into focus. Come on now. You can't have stew chicken without some white rice, y'all. So we going in with that. We gonna hit it up with some white rice, y'all. Whatever kind of white rice you like. That just so happened to be that Bob the Monty rice. Hey, as a matter of fact, I might as well give y'all a heads up right now. I was invited out to a, a Indian Independence Day celebration today. Hey, stay tuned for the a little clip of that celebration, and it's also stay tuned for your man. Keep a cup can cook. He going international, y'all. He get ready to create international cuisine, Indian style, y'all. Taste. Hey, stay tuned. Hey, and with that said, let's go on here and hit it up. Ooh, really? Just put two 
food down on there. We're gonna drop a little bit of this sauce on there. That's right, y'all. We're gonna drop some sauce on there. Oh my goodness. Hey. Can't do it without a little pop of color too now. Oh man, oh man. And you gotta decorate that plate sometime too now. I know y'all. You saying, man, he's showing that. Absolutely. I am. I'm showing that. Because I am your man. Keep a cup can cook. He demonstrating and he putting it on a plate. Right before your very eyes, y'all. Right before your very eyes. Absolutely. Come on. Let's get that thumbnail as well. down in the low country, let me know what you think. That's that low country. Stew chicken. That's right, y'all. And it was done keep a cup style. Hey, let's go in for the taste test, y'all. But before you do, hey, you already know what to do. Hit that subscribe button for me, y'all. Hit the like, share, share with everybody you know. And tell them to share with everybody what they know, who they know. There's another channel out here, y'all. We highlighting all YouTube chefs and person pe people in my personal life that has poor cooking knowledge into me. Hey. We doing it, y'all. We demonstrating it. We put it on the plate. Right before your very eyes. I am your man. Keep a cup, can cook. Hey, let's go in for the taste test, y'all. bone in there, y'all. Now, if you do boneless, hey, good. You ain't got to worry about that bone. But I'm going to tell you, that bone brings flavor, y'all. Don't be scared of it. Hey, with that said, Don't even really need a knife, but for the sake of the camera, 
pray. We got to do what we got to do. Hey, it's enough talking. I'm about to make this plate walk. I am your man, Keep a Cup Can Cook. Hey, and I'm out.